What's going on guys? It's Chris here and today we're on the Potomac River and I'm going to teach you how to catch smallmouth bass in an eddy. Um, these are kind of just tips and tricks uh, that I accumulated over time fishing on the river and I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm in a little spot right now. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to zoom into it and show you guys how I do it. All right. All right, so what we have here is just like a, an exposed rock. Um, on the left-hand side, about right here, you can see a little ripple coming down. And then on the right-hand side, right about here, you have another current coming that way. And what I like to do is start from the back end of the eddy, uh, the bottom part with with either in my boat or my kayak um, and kind of work my way up and what I actually like to do um, I'm gonna shift over the camera here turn it over a little bit so there's an there's actually an eddy line okay um, that's what they call it on the river I don't know if you can see but like right here you have a little bit of ripple okay and that ripple comes down alongside the eddy okay and those river smallmouth like to sit right along that eddy line. So what I'll actually start doing when I come into an eddy or I pull up to the first eddy, um, I'll actually start making casts along that eddy line because those smallmouth are going to be sitting, waiting for disoriented fish coming through, crawfish, any, any kind of little bait that they can kind of scoop up that gets shooken up coming through the rapids. Um, from there, I'll start working my way up towards like the center of the eddy in this area over here or pushing, moving over. You can actually see there's, there's another eddy line that comes right down right around here and it creates this pool right in here. So I'll work this little eddy line coming down in here and then I'll work the pool. And what I'll do is I'll start from the back of the the furthest point of the eddy where there's no current and there's kind of a pool and work my way up um, closer to the rock and and fish all all that kind of structure up in here and here and then there's more rocks that way. Um, so that's that's pretty much kind of just like a beginner tip on on what I do to catch river smallmouth. Uh, now, when you pull into the netty, you want to kind of check the depth. You know what I mean? And depending on the the eddy itself, you want to how deep the eddy is is kind of going to determine what kind of weight you throw. And that's something that we can get into with uh, with another video in the in the near future. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, make some casts and, and kind of just show you guys how I do it. All right.
Thanks guys for watching my how to video on how to fish an eddy um, to catch big smallmouth and walleye after seeing today. So with, with those little bit of tips and tricks that I told you guys today, you're able to catch multiple species of fish. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'll be more willing to answer them. Just hit me in the comments below. Uh, if you guys like this video, smash that like button for me please. And uh, just stay tuned and like always, we going fishing. See you guys later.